There are, there are always people that in fact actually contest the value of vaccination. Look, vaccination has been one of the most uh, remarkable uh, inventions of, uh, of mankind. It has saved absolutely billions of lives over the time that has come through. Think of the polio, think of smallpox we got rid of, think of in fact actually tetanus um, and in fact if you were someone around in the 1920s that you would uh, almost be uh, you know, frightened that you were going to lose your children from diphtheria. All of these things are in the past and in fact we've almost controlled measles to that degree where again measles uh, cause severe neurological damage uh, in about one in a thousand child that got it. We, we forget these things whereas vaccination has actually prevented those. With regards to COVID the only way that we can get immunity to the COVID-19 virus is through vaccination or catching the virus and I don't recommend catching the virus. Look, I grew, up, uh, I grew up on a farm, right? And uh, it's hard enough to get herd immunity in your animals. So why did we ever think that an, an animal that's not controlled in a paddock that is humans, we could ever get herd immunity to? Now, we have achieved herd immunity to such diseases, diseases as measles, but we started the vaccination programs um, back in the, around about the 70s or 80s to get to that level. To, to reach herd immunity uh, for COVID, uh, probably unlikely in my pick because the virus will continue to change and it's going to be a bit more like a flu situation. We'll have some baseline immunity against some strains when they appear, but into the future there'll be other strains we won't have any immunity to at all. So uh, herd immunity is, is not something that I'm actually expecting to occur anytime soon.